Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Yakima Air Terminal, McAllister Field, from the flight deck. Yakima Air Terminal McAllister Field is a small to medium-sized multi-use airport located on the southwest edge of the city of Yakima in Washington State. It has associated Class Delta airspace and a large restricted area located less than 10 miles northeast. When arriving and departing Yakima, it is imperative that pilots be aware of the restricted area to the northeast of the field. There have been occasional pilot deviations into this restricted area, and awareness is key to avoiding this mistake. The traffic consists primarily of general and business aviation with some scheduled air carriers. There are two flight schools located on the airport and schools from the surrounding area use Yakima for instrument and towered airport operations training. Itinerant military aircraft, primarily helicopters, utilize the facility as well. First time visitors can expect a diverse mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability. The airport is configured with two intersecting runways. The primary runway is numbered 927 and the smaller crossing runway is 422. The taxiway system provides access to all facilities, ramps, and businesses found on the north, east, and south sides of the airport. Arriving at Yakima for the first time, you may be asked to report the SELA gap, or the gap when arriving from the north or south. These are two geographical points not depicted on the VFR sectional. Just advise the tower that you are unfamiliar and they will describe the location to you or provide alternate instructions. Another caution for the first time arrival concerns the approach ends of runway 22 and 27. Due to their close proximity, pilots have confused the two runways and approached the wrong one. The same situation also occurs with runways 9 and 4, although to a lesser extent. Cross-checking your aircraft compass, heading with an assigned runway, and ensuring that they match will help avoid this type of error. At airports with intersecting runways, there is the risk of pilots landing on one runway and clearing onto another. At Yakima, this is most often encountered with aircraft landing runway 27 and attempting to exit on runway 422 instead of the appropriate taxiway. Remember, you must have the appropriate clearance to taxi on any runway, active or not. Hotspot number one is located at the approach end of runway 22 and taxiway Bravo. The chart supplement points out that the hold short lines are located an unusual distance from the runway edge, and the runway markings are not easily visible from the hold line. There are a few other issues that occur in this same location. Perhaps due to the large area of concrete, some pilots holding short on the west side of the runway and after being cleared for takeoff on runway 22, have taxied out on and attempted to depart on taxiway Charlie. As with previous examples of surface confusion, comparing your aircraft compass heading to the runway assigned prior to applying takeoff power will help ensure you are lined up on the correct surface. Taxiway Bravo east of runway 22 can also be confusing to the first time visitor. Taxiway Bravo ends at the hold short lines east of runway 22 and does not begin again until just north of taxiway Alpha 1. In between these two points is a non-movement area and does not require authorization from the tower to operate in. However, you do need authorization to operate south of the movement non-movement lines north of Alpha 1 and west of the hold short lines on the east side of runway 22. One last area to be aware of is found in the vicinity of the hangars north of Taxiway Bravo, just west of the Runway 22 approach course. The tower has restricted visibility into this area with small aircraft. Do not be surprised if the tower asks for precise location reports when operating in this area. As with any airport with an operating control tower, if you are ever in doubt about a clearance or instruction, the easiest remedy is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Thank you.
Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Yakima will help pilots make better decisions, and along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Yakima Air Terminal McAllister Field. It's always better to know before you go.